Hi, welcome to the first video of the channel. I'm Ben, the Burnt Out Sheriff, and today we're going to be making ultra fluffy pancakes, the best ones you'll ever eat. And we're going to be topping it with this amazing quality maple syrup. Let's face it, it's the only way to have pancakes. So, let's get going, shall we? In a large bowl, add 30 grams of caster sugar, 30 grams of melted butter, not too hot, so just partially melt it and mix it, while you'll get scrambled eggs and not pancakes, not too appetizing. Give that all a good mix together, wants to be sort of like a base, very loose though. Then add about 10 grams of high quality vanilla extract. This is where all your flavors go here. About two teaspoons if you can't have a few grams. About seven grams of salt, a bit more if you do savory. Again, good mix. This is the important part, about five grams of baking powder. This is where the fluffiness comes from, from because it makes the whole thing lift. Now I'll start adding your milk, about half of it. And this is when you realise to have got on your egg. So, go and get that. Put your egg in. If you're doing a half batch, just use the yolk. Or if you want a really rich pancake, use two yolks. Give that another good mixing. See the stupid you've got your egg. And now, get the rest of your milk in there. Give us a really good mix, because this is where you're going to get all the lumps of baking powder out. So you don't want to overmix the flour. What are you going to add now? So, definitely doing that, then do that and poke it in. And realize you can just dump it all in at once because it doesn't really matter because it's pancakes. Give a sort of careful mix in because you don't want to over mix it. And you can leave the lumps because they'll rest it out and then when you cook it, they'll cook out. And I use the whisk because. Now that's done, you want to give it a good rest in the fridge for 10 minutes. This is when you get your pan on to heat up with some butter. So by the time the pan is heated up, my cake batter has had enough time to rest. Pretty simple. So why I don't put it on to heat up while I'm making the batter. Or else your pan will be way too hot. And if it's a non stick one like this, it'll probably burn the coating up. Or just wreck the butter. Right. Now the butter's melted. We can start making the pancakes. So, oh, I about a third of a cup. I'll get down in the middle, break it all out, get on to the pancakes. And when you're spreading it, don't push the spatula all the way through or you'll end up weird marks on the bottom of the pancake. Just leave it there. You're not perfectly around. Now, after a few minutes, once the, once the pancake goes matte, you get a couple of bubbles in the middle, it'll flip it. Take some practice. The first one's always bad. Just these. It's not bad. It's just like the chip. So now it's cooking. You'll see the bubbles start appearing on the edge. I'll let you know it's about ready. When I'm doing pancakes, I like to leave one of the wire rack in the oven to stay warm, but I do them individually because I like big pancakes. If you have the cast iron griddle or something, you can do like 8 or 10 at a time, but then you'll end up with one of them being burnt and one of them being raw if you're not careful. So yeah, just keep them warm in a row and keep it about 100 degrees or something. Especially this panel. Put a good scoop out. Make sure it's cooked. Don't want raw middles or anything horrible like that. And then put the rack in the oven. Keep it on. You can get the rest of the pancakes made. You can leave the ones in the oven and stay hot. Now it's time to play. So, get your pancake, 
pick you up one for the following is done. I was gonna say it. I'll get out of the play. Then get a little, little bit of icing and sugar, put it on top of the pancake. You're gonna do this in between each pancake, it just makes them nicer. It will sort of disappear when it starts sinking your pancakes. It just means that the ones that are stacked in between the layers actually get some sweetness because the maple syrup will just go down over the outside. Again, on all of them. You can do it on the top one if you really want. I do. I like sugar. Looks good. Now, your little perfect square of butter that you carefully made in the video. One of the best things is when the maple syrup mixes up with the butter. It tastes so nice. I might actually do maple syrup with butter at some point. But now, years of practice, you carefully pour it over the top in the most dramatic way for It doesn't really matter how you pour it on. We don't like more anyway. You just drink it. And now, best part, taste test. Right, here you go. Come on, here we go. Get some butter. No, no, no. Get back on. Come on, come on. Get some more syrup. Yeah, right, right. Oh. As you can see from my vigorous knife shaking, good pancakes. Oh, going in for seconds. Come on, there we go. Oh, like pancakes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Ring the little bell, it really helps me out. Thanks.